All right, guys, I'm, uh, I'm live here. It's 11 o'clock, just like I said I would do, and I uh, hope you can see me okay. I'm gonna adjust this as we go. Um, I tried to do this live on the computer. It did not work at all. It was not a good story. For some reason, YouTube um, asks to for, for stream setups. So maybe if somebody knows anything about that, how to do that live streaming on YouTube, you let, let me know. Um, there you go, India. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi, uh, Yash. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm going to do this pretty regularly. Janet talked me into doing this, and she said um, this would really help you guys with this whole lockdown with the coronavirus, and uh, that's what I want to do. So um, let's see what uh, what you guys have. Mexico, India, you guys are checking in from all over the world. I love seeing that. Again, like I was saying before to you guys, I tried to do this via um, uh, YouTube on my computer, Namibia. Hey, Allison, how are you? David, good to see you over there. Um, and it didn't work. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to do it. Basically, that, that's it. So um, you guys are calling all over. I love seeing this. I love, love seeing this. Florida, Dominican Republic, everything. Welcome, you guys. You guys, we're all in this together, guys. Switzerland, good to see. England, UK, great to see you guys. Netherlands, man, awesome. You know, this is what's going to hold our world together. We're having a hard time right now. Um, we're in this together. We are going to make, make it. You know, Janet and I are talking, um, you know, all the time about what's this going to look like. And the thing is, we don't know what it's going to look like, right? We really, really don't know um, what the future holds. But the thing you got to do is you've got to be, here, here's where you got to learn from your dog. So um, you've got to understand that like, dogs live in the moment, right? That's all they know is that single moment. And they get by, like they don't know what's going to happen. We're kind of spoiled as human beings. We kind of think Beirut, Lebanon, Turkey. Love it. Love you guys up there. Um, we're spoiled because we have these, this process, right? So the process for us is we know... Um, I'm going to start taking questions in a minute. Let me ramble for a second. Um, we know what to expect. So in other words, we know tomorrow we're going to go there. Today we're going to do this. Yesterday we did this. Next week we're going to do that. And we become really spoiled in knowing what to expect and not knowing what to expect is really what we got to do now. Like in other words, okay, like Los Angeles, we're basically shut down. We're, we're in our homes and <clears throat> we're not supposed to travel. A lot of idiots are out buying 100 rolls of toilet paper and stuff like that. But just living in the moment, just take a breath for a second, all of you guys, 82 of you guys here, okay? Just take a breath, right? Just be chill. Like right now, I just want to show you something. Look over here. You got, is that Maya in there? No, my, oh, that's Bosman. So Bosman's in his crate over there. Goofy's right there. Okay, look. See, the Dwayne Mater's right there. And I'm right here. So, um, you know, it's all chill. Janet's upstairs. I don't know where Maya is. Maya's probably with mom. But um, just relax, right? We're going to make it together. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make it. I swear to God. I mean, we're going to make through this. Remember what I said yesterday, you know, our forefathers went to war, you know, all of these crazy, crazy things. Yeah, we were survived SARS, we survived swine flu, we, were, we survived a lot of things. We've got the most technologically advanced uh, Egypt. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. Um, uh, we've, we've survived all these amazing things through life, right? And if you live in the Middle East, like a lot of you guys do, man, you know, you guys have it hard. Okay, Nicaragua. You know, Americans are kind of spoiled, and I mean, I'm spoiled, but I want you guys to just know that I'm here. So I'm going to check in with you guys regularly. Check the front of robertcabral.com, and I'll post what I'm going to do my next session, right? When I'm going to do my next live cast. I'm going to try to keep these things going because I think it's important. I want to give back to you. I'm very, very grateful. Brazil, great. Um, I want to give back to you guys uh, a little bit. I mean, I, the site is doing great. You know, we have a lot of members. If you can afford to join the site, join the site. Go to robertcabral.com. Um, that will help support these live casts that I want to give back to you. Um, and, and I just want you to know, man, we're in this together. I appreciate you guys. Um, I appreciate your memberships. For those of you who are members of my member section, I appreciate you guys' support on YouTube. Please share it. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button on my YouTube so you'll know when I'm going to be live. So um, how does it feel to have, what was this here? Hang on. 
train dogs in your home. You know, I don't know any different. <laughs> um, I always train my dogs. I'm gonna give you indoor training tips. Um, my favorite dog breed, that's a hard one, Matt. You know, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna bounce in and out of these questions. If I miss them, just ping them back to me. Um, if, if I ignore it, I'm gonna tell you I'm ignoring that question for a reason. Um, my favorite dog breed, of course, for me, is gonna be a Belgian Malinois because I do um, love training, but it's, it's just a horrible dog for a lot of other people, right? It's, it's a super hard, high-driving dog. Dwayne Amater is, is a Labrador, and he's a high-driving dog, but not like Goofy, not like the Malinois, like the real protection dogs I've seen and work with. Um, Goofy is a, is a lower drive, but he's still a lot, he's, he's 100 times more drive than any other dog. So the labs are great. Um, okay, many people start to leave their dogs because of COVID-19. Is there uh, signs of dog? There's nothing that has proven that yet. The only way they say that that's been proven, because it's a great question, something I want to kind of keep dr drilling into you guys. Um, somebody said that in, in, it was either Italy or France, I'm sorry for, for the question, if I'm wrong on it, but it's one of those two countries, so I'm not wrong on it. Um, they said they were throwing their dogs, you know, out of four, fourth story apartments to get rid of them because the, the lie about the coronavirus has been um, <clears throat> put out there that they can spread the disease. There's no sign of that. There's nothing that's been proven. And even if they did, I'd keep my dogs, right? Keep your dogs at a distance and yourself <clears throat> at a distance um, fr from other people, right? People who have it, some might show it, some might not. So it's the best thing that you can do is to just keep your distance, keep social distance. They say six feet, we've been doing that. You know, I mean, I've only gone to the store a couple times. Yeah, your two-year-old German Shepherd can learn new tricks, 100% Jose. Someday I'm gonna get by to sponsor my show because I drink this stuff all the time on here. <clears throat> my take on the implied stay, um, sit is sit, stay is irrelevant, but why do we seem to always add stay? Well, you know, you're adding stay because you think you need to tell your dog stay in order to get them to stay, and you really don't, you really don't. If down means down, in other words, if you tell your dog down and you walk away from him and he gets up, well, then what? He's not downing, right? So if you say down, stay, and he's getting up and he's breaking two commands. So I don't use the stay that much. Sometimes for insecurity, we will say it. How do I keep my puppy from jumping on strangers during a walk? I think I've covered that in every single live cast I've ever done. So check back on those one. I don't, I don't want to keep going through it. One-year-old German Shepherd, Czech Belgium, keeps playful mouthing when trying to get pets. So that's, um, that's just a nervous habit the dog has gotten into. So when the dog does that, stop petting him. And if the dog takes your hand in their mouth, don't go crazy. Like a lot of people try to overcorrect. If the dog sits to get really dominant, then I'll push the, 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 my hand all the way and I'll say, hey, easy. But I don't get upset. That's really important. Um, and the other thing is the socialization thing is really important. So I want to talk about that for a second. You guys, um, please understand that when you're socializing a dog, the idea is not necessarily to let them get petted and picked up and... and in, instigated by a lot of people. Your goal in, in socializing a dog is making the social environment, you know, uh, as transparent as possible. So you can take them to different places, you can walk around. I mean, now is a good time. You can go outside, stay away from people, and people are gonna, you know, I always say, when people wanna pet your dog, don't let them pet your dog, right? Let the dog see that he doesn't have to run up to everybody. And when you can get the dog to understand that, which is gonna be easier now, because you don't really, during this time, want your dog to be being pet by everybody. So this is the best time to socialize your dog. This is a great, great, great time, because you keep your dog with you. People are automatically giving you that, that respect, that social distance. This is, I mean, honestly, if I was gonna have a puppy, now would be the time for me to have a puppy. Maybe not for everybody else. Um, you're struggling to teach your dog to not eat garbage from the street. Okay, um, okay, so good e collars I don't know where you are, leaf har, um, but you don't need an e-collar for a leaf it command. I've got plenty of videos in the member section on my member site and on YouTube here that are free on teaching your dog a leave it command. So teach your dog a really, really solid leave it command. I don't want to go into how to do that, but um, you do, you, you, you want to teach him that. Um, uh, Papa. Don't, okay, so you, somebody here said you're getting a live star guarding dog um, in April. There's another pup, same age from another litter. We will pick up five months extended. I, I would not get two dogs even close to the same age. I'm sorry. I, I just wouldn't do it. Don't do it. Please, people, 
if you know, I want to talk a little bit about also if you guys are going to foster a dog during these hard times, some people might end up losing their dogs. The shelters need help. The shelters are really having a super, super hard time with dogs. So if you're going to foster a dog, what I suggest to you automatically is a crate. Crate, 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 crate. The new dog. Don't let the dogs interact. You don't want to at this time be going to a vet or you know having to stitch up dogs, any of that stuff. So if you're gonna foster a dog, maybe Janet and I will make a video on how to foster a dog properly in your home, but you're gonna to wanna to use a crate. You look over behind me right there and you'll see that Boz man is in his little crate. Boz is a 17 year old mini dog and I love him more than life. And um, he's in a crate a lot because we don't want him you know, tumbling down the stairs or, or trying to play too rough or anything like that. Um, Nine month old lab flipping out and biting hard during play. So what's happening there, Tracy, is more than likely the dog is getting super stimulated during play. He's having a really fun, fun, fun time. Um, and he's um, a brand of log, dog leash. If go to my Amazon store. All the stuff I recommend is on my Amazon store. Please use that. It also, I, I get an affiliate commission on that. So it helps me keep these things going. Um, it, well, I forgot where I was on my other stuff. I get kind of distracted. Um, oh, the lab, the lab uh, mouthing too hard. You just gotta keep your energy lower. And um, what, what did you say here, Matthew? What won't I answer? He will not answer that? What was that? Um, uh, you, you gotta keep your energy chill, right? Your energy stays chill, dog energy stays chill. If you get upset about the dog trying to bite you and stuff like that, then you're gonna have a really, really hard time. I'm just learning now. Um, yeah, so yeah, sir, my dog is very familiar and I want aggressive. I won't answer that one because it's stupid. You don't want your dog to be aggressive link to my store. I can't type in here. I don't know how to do all this stuff. I'm not that advanced, but if you go to robertcabral.com on the, under resources, there's an Amazon store. And in that Amazon store is all the products I recommend. They're either products that I personally use or products that I recommend. Um, I do get an affiliate, a very, very tiny commission. Um, I do make my money on the membership section, just so you know. Um, Matthew, I don't answer questions how to make dogs aggressive. Wrong place. Either chill out here and uh, be with people who want to train their dogs or you gotta leave. I don't do anything with making dogs aggressive. I think it's really, really bad. Um, what John Doe, I'm sure that's not your real name, would you let a Roddy puppy have a lot of out of crate time in the home with a leash you've had? Sure, I would, absolutely. It's a very good question. Um, are German Shepherds good for medium experienced dog owner? Yeah, absolutely, Valley. Um, German Shepherds are great dogs. You know, what you want to do is you want to see what the temperament of that particular dog is, what the drive of that dog is, what the personality of that dog is, and, um, and then make your decision based on that. Um, when I control hand feed food, there's no issues, but if my one-year-old Husky and five-year-old Chihuahua food inspect food in the house, she attacks him. Um, what can I do? You need, to, you need to make sure to feed them far apart and don't let them even get close to each other. That's what I always do. I put two bowls on the opposite ends of the room and if I see one dog heading over to the other one, hey, knock it off. Especially since you're gonna know which one has the resource guard and the aggression issues. Correct that dog hard, bring them back to their food. Feed them at the opposite, opposite ends. Um, what do I think about Larry Crone? You know, I've seen some of Larry's stuff, it's okay. I'm not one to criticize other trainers, a lot of great trainers out there. Um, I'm doing my best to be the best that I can be, and I'm not one about criticizing, you know, other trainers, so that's, that's my take on it. Um, you're here, so I, may, I hope you prefer me. Uh, four month old high drive, lies down and plays dead when I try to induce leash pressure. What should I do in this situation? I've tried leash pressure videos. In the member like, what you need to do is you need to get the dog excited, right? So when the dog lies and go, hey, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here, get the dog really jumped up. Now, Dwayne thinks I'm talking to him, and um, and get the dog re-engaged into the game. For some reason, you might be putting too much leash pressure in there. Hey, Thomas, thanks. I hope you're having a good weekend too. Um, Sunny Chang, a moving uh, to Portland from California. Probably smart to get out of California. Any recommendation on making it easier, more comfortable dog? No, just to, you know, get your dog used to being in different environments. Make sure you bring some familiar clothes. You know, take a bunch of laundry that you didn't wash. I know that sounds gross. Um, and let the dog put those all around the house. That's a really good tip that'll help your dog to really become um, uh, the milkman, I, I thank you for preparing me as your main trainer. Um, you wanna make things really familiar, make sure you bring the dog's bowl and the dog's bed and all that stuff. Um, when I correct, does my voice need to be loud? No, but it needs to be stern, it needs to be strong, it needs to be a different intonation than what you normally use. You wanna make sure to, um, like if I correct, you go, hey, 
like that. It's real to see all the dogs look up when I did that. Um, but I don't go, no, yes. Uh, it's, it's not monotone. Um, I always find that training, dog training, is very melodic. Um, Robert put a vid on YouTube earlier today that will answer your question. Yeah, thank you very much, Allison, for that. That's true. You know, you guys got to watch... Um, I just I put all the podcasts on YouTube. If you if you go to Apple, Google, or TuneIn, or I think I don't know what the third one is. Um, all these resources are available on my site. Please go to robertcabral.com. Um, there is a member section you can join. There's an Amazon store you can purchase things from. But um, it's also a great resource for things. Uh, YouTube I'm always putting stuff up on. So if you like, if you don't get the regular podcast on Apple or TuneIn or Google, then you can get it here on YouTube, right? Um, if you've got a really long question, I'm probably not going to get to it in these sessions because I'm trying to help as many of you guys as I can, and you guys are tuning in from all over the world, you know, so I want you to know that. Uh, yeah, way too many questions. Uh, can I say leave it if she sees people? You can. I don't like using leave it for that. I go, hey, pay attention to me. I try to engage the dog to me. Um, okay, you've asked me about three or four times if German Shepherds are good for medium, and I said, yes, they are. Um, Okay, any tips after I take my Roddy outside to do his business after he wants to go inside? Any tips for gathering more control in the situation without tugging on his leash? Just be, you know, puppies, you got to be kind of like really neutral but strong. So um, you want to make sure that the dog understands that you're in control. But if the dog is able to upset you or trigger you or make you nervous or, or anything like that, then the dog figures you out. So be real careful on that. Um, I actually watch multiple trainers and helps me a lot to understand dogs better, especially when independent dog trainers agree on certain things, just to know, thank you, that's great. Dog aggression at the dog park. Eric, stay out of the dog park. Marius, nice to see you from Germany. Dog aggression at the dog park. Okay, don't ask me dog park questions because I hate dog parks. I think dog parks are the dumbest idea. Yeah, what's up with that VIP, VIP? 23 likes, 160 people watching. Hey, you guys gotta give, the, give this some thumbs up. Shoot me some thumbs up here real quick because we gotta get this up to a lot of likes. Um, but I'm not seeing any likes and any extra likes together. We've got 29. Let's get it up to 50 likes. We've got 163 people. If you hit, hit that like button, hit the like button and make sure you also, there we go. We're almost 44. Let's see. Let's have a little game. Let's get it to 50. Let's see if, there we go. 51. All right, great. Um, we've got to have a little fun here. Um, um, what's this here? Uh, da, 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 da. keep going. Robert Zen Dovey. Good. Okay. Very cool. Should I get another dog of the same sex? Okay, so that's a great question. When people get a second dog, it's always better to get opposite sex. If you have a male, get a female. If you have a female, get a male. That's gonna really, really help you a lot. If you like what I'm saying, then give it a thumbs up. And I hate to be one of these YouTube guys. Give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. But hey, do me a favor. If you're here and you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe right now so that I can get you on my list and you'll know when things are going on. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look over here on my YouTube channel, which um, I'm on my computer over here. This is totally high tech. But what I wanna see is how many new subscribers I can get um, over to uh, on here. Because if you're here, you like this, what I'm doing. So most of you are all probably subscribed. Um, we got 118,925. If 75 of you are not subscribed, subscribe right now. Let me see that number get up to 119,000. The goal is, is, is a half a million. Cocker Spaniels are not hard to try, train. It's a great question. Um, don't, um, um, don't make the mistake of thinking it's a particular breed. It's a particular dog, right? Depends, um, depends on the dog. So um, first time watcher, hey, Deborah, make sure you subscribe. Um, barf diet, barf diet, you know, you gotta be careful with a barf diet because sometimes people just do bones and, and some vegetables. They don't put enough supplements in. Make sure you get supplements in there. Um, you'll really wanna check out um, a lot of that. I've got Goofy on a, on a ketogenic diet now, but um, it's a really good diet too. I like, I like natural foods. I mean, there's a lot of really good pet foods on the, on the um, market. Just be careful not to get too much crap. Um, your dog is becoming bone aggressive. Um, using normal calcium oils. Try hand feeding your dog the bone. Try holding the bone in your hand and, and, uh, and, and, and holding it and letting the dog eat it off there and then holding another bone in this hand and giving, like trading it back and forth. But you have to have good control. You should be able to call your dog off of things. It's always better to remove the dog from the object than the object from the dog, one of my slogans. E-collars, Eric, I'm gonna be doing an e-collar series. I promise I will do that. I just gotta to get to it. Um, I'm kind of over here, um, you know, just trying to get everything 
Um, how do you start resource gardening? I've got videos on that. Why are dog parks bad? I want to talk about that for a second. So the reason dog parks are bad is because you have different personalities of dogs and dogs are going to vie for position. Generally, when people go to a dog park, they don't pay any attention to their dog, right? All they're doing is they're texting, they're checking their social media, they're doing this, they're talking to their friends because they're lazy. They're not training the dogs or walking their dogs. You'll have a huge issue in a dog park when you get a dominant dog in there and somebody challenges them and they don't know each other, right? So if you had a dog park where it's, you know, 10, 15 neighbors coming and hanging out and doing all that stuff, I think it'd be really, really great. But a dog park, just introducing your dog to, to wild random people, I think is insane, so don't do it. Um, make a video on stop eating food unless you order. Well, you know what you wanna do is you wanna keep the dog, you wanna put the food down for the dog and then you want to um, put, put the food down, have the dog wait, release the food, the dog to the food, and then you should be able to call the dog back. How was Goofy as a puppy? Oh my God. Goofy was so much work as a puppy. It was completely insane. The first three, four months of my life were completely wrapped around Goofy, which is why I say don't get a high drive dog. Please get yourself a dog. A dog should enhance your life, right? And unless you're a professional trainer or somebody who's really, really familiar with the breed, um, it's a lot of dog. It's a really lot of dog to have. Um, how do I teach my dog to walk next to me IPO style? I got a video on that. I got a video on it outside and I got a video in the member section. So hit the member section um, on robertcabral.com and you'll see. E-collars can be a super great training tool used properly. I think you'll really, really, really love them. But I'm gonna do a series on it, it's coming. Um, how can I stop my dog from eating garbage when we're out on walks? Look at my video on the, on the leave it command. The leave it command will teach you how to do that. Um, Okay, I love my mountain, but I don't remember as a pet. Chup on Cujo, you're absolutely right. Slip lead versus prong. Um, if I had a choice, I'd take a slip lead because it's, it's the slip leads, when I teach at the shelter, it's the number one tool I use. It's the easiest tool to use straight through for every single dog on the planet. Prong collars are a great tool, but they're not for every dog. E collars are a great tool, but they're not for every dog. And when I do my series, you'll understand why. Um, do I let my dog off leash every time you go outside? No, I never let my dog off leash unless we're training or in somewhere that's uh, controlled. Is it possible to be too strong with leash corrections on a leash? Yeah, absolutely. You don't want to do that. If you're too hard on the dog on a leash correction, you're going to lose your dog. It's going to shut down and that's not going to be cool for your dog. So um, the leash pressure, the leash corrections should be just as hard as the dog can handle it. And that's where you really want to, um, want to figure it out with your dog. Here's a good question here. When does littermate syndrome stop being a problem if both dogs are five months at a time of introduction? When should I get my livestock guarding number two then? Too many predators to work alone out there. Well, if you're using for a live, live guard dog, a live guard dog, then I wouldn't worry that much about it, right? Because you're not really looking to bond with the dog. You're looking for a dog solely as protection and those two dogs are gonna roam. And when you're using it for that, you know, as, as a sentry dog, a dog that's gonna protect your livestock, you're absolutely right. You do want two of those dogs and you do want them. So I take back what I said. I'm talking about, uh, yeah, I do work with hounds, Docs and Bosman as a hound. Um, and your question about potty training a pit bull puppy, a pit bull puppy, a shepherd puppy, a terrier puppy, anything, they're all, all the same. Um, how can I avoid my two dogs fighting when they're growing up? Give them structure. They need to understand that you are 100% in control and you do not at all um, tolerate any aggression whatsoever, none. Get some more likes up here. It's 161 people, only 102 likes. I'm, I'm gonna keep track of this now. Somebody really got me on this. Um, that was a great question, but I lost it now. All right, I'm going to scroll back up. Um, my adult dog growls when a stranger enters the house, so I give him a firm correction. Okay, that's actually a really good question. Um, I lost it now. I'm, I'm not good with this thing. So um, if your dog growls when people come in the house, your dog needs to go in a crate, and you need to socialize your dog with people coming in. Um, introducing chickens to German Shepherds, you know what my tip is? Good luck. Does breed matter when getting a second dog? No. I mean, it doesn't really matter. No thumbs up button. There's no like button on your thing? That's impossible. There's gotta be a like button. Keep check, come on, look. Been working on plus command. Uh, Bruce will always do it with food, but refuses to without food. Um, so you just need to get the dog to understand that there's, you, when, I, when I try to fade the food, let me answer this, because it's a really good question. Um, I lure and lure and lure and lure, right? So I'll lure and down, lure, down, lure, down. Then I'll, I'll uh, say down and I'll withhold the lure. So I'm gonna switch it, right? So I'm gonna say down, 
and lure, down and lure, and then I'm gonna say down, I'm gonna hold back the lure. And if the dog will kind of automatically start to go into that down, then I'll bring the treat in. So the dog will understand there's always a reward, but it may not come at the same time as a lure. And that's how you try to transition off of that. And there's also a video on that as well. So let's do five more minutes. I'll keep it at 30 minutes. It'd be kind of fun if I can get a couple more likes, a couple more thumbs up, come on. And hey, has anybody else uh, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to the member section? Let me check. Four people, great. <laughs> you need to take a breath. You know, Paul, you're right. This is insane. It's like, I feel like an auctioneer. Um, my thoughts on saying and neuter, spaying and neutering different ages. Okay, so here's the thing. What you really want to do when you spay and neuter a dog, first of all, I'm, I'm not a big fan of spay and neuter in general. Mike Ritland and I talked about this the other day on my podcast because, you know, you do change the dynamic of the dog. That being said, so many people are morons and are irresponsible with their dogs, right? And when, um, what does it say? Something? Okay, anyway. Um, but, but, you know, most people are so stupid. They let their dogs, and we're, you know, we're killing thousands and millions, hundreds of thousands of dogs in the country every year because there's so many litters born. And there's also irresponsible idiots breeding. There's um, stupid people doing this stuff. I hate it. It drives me nuts. We don't need to do that. Get your dog from a good breeder. Get your dog from a shelter. Get your dog from a good rescue. Um, how did I get into dogs? I mean, you know, it's funny. Uh, I had dogs when I was a young kid, up into my 30s and 40s, I, I didn't have a dog. And then I, a friend of mine had a German, uh, a Doberman. I helped him train the Doberman. And I'd been teaching karate all along. And um, I got a dog, I rescued a dog that somebody couldn't keep. Had that dog for a long time and then started working in shelters, that was it. And my vet, Dr. Lisa, got me into it. Do you know a Belgian with epilepsy? I don't know. I don't, I don't know a Belgian with epilepsy at all, no. Which German Shepherd is good in the fast learning straight back or angulation? No real difference. The, different with, the difference with the more slope backs, those are more show line dogs, they're softer dogs. Um, they can be good. It's gonna really depend on the particular dog. Um, the slope back, I mean, it's also something they really do to the dog when they stack the dog to make it look like that. It's not really, it doesn't look like that normally, but I'm a, I'm a much bigger fan of working line or pet line uh, German Shepherds. If two intact male shepherds um, don't like each other, can that be overcome in any instance? Hard. It's a really, really, really hard one. Two intact males, I'd probably, you know, I, I would probably neuter one of those dogs. I'd probably neuter both of them. It's gonna be a tough one, sorry. Um, as dogs get older, they listen more. I think they just become more compliant. They just get more used to your voice. Um, my dogs are killing my sheep. That's a tough one. I mean, you, that's not good, by the way. Um, if your dog's killing your sheep, you're gonna need to get rid of the dogs or the sheep, one of the two. Um, yeah, if you wanna learn how to train dogs there, Giles, um, join my membership section. You can go, you can go right to robertcabral.com. By the way, I'm not trying to make a shameless plug. If I can get a couple of you guys to run over and join my membership section, um, it's a super great deal. It's $9.95 a month. It's, it's the best deal on the internet. Great, great, great lessons updated every week. You know, these questions and answers you send me, I answer them every week for people. So you get your questions answered, um, but I, I can't do it, you know, here. I mean, I'm, I'm obviously getting through, I'm, I'm seeing hundreds of questions float up and I wanna do this regularly. I'm gonna try to do it again tomorrow if I can. Um, once I play to have a puppy, but my pup to be neutral. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna hurt you to have a play date with your friend's dog to get the dog to know how to be social. Just make sure it's a really, really safe, safe dog. Any tricks you can teach bad manners? I don't know what that question means. Um, five month old uh, has Giardia for the second time and with COVID isolation, he's missing up on some socialization. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about uh, missing out on socialization. You're gonna get back to socialization with your dog. You're not gonna have any problem with that. Um, my dog obeys, <laughs> that's a very good question there, Marty. Um, your dog obeys commands from strangers, how do I stop that? I'm not sure you really wanna stop that if it's not gonna be a competitive dog. Like with competitive obedience dogs, we play tricks on them. So one thing we do is I'll be out there and I'll tell my dog to sit and I'll have a friend of mine go by and tell the dog, lie down. And if he does, I go over and I go, hey, no. And I give the dog a little correction, put him back in the sit and I do it again. So the dog starts to learn it's a trick. The dog must, must, must know that it's a trick. Okay, subscriber, no long leads in your Amazon store. Yes, there are, I'm gonna go check. UC Davis, great study on large breeds, increasing joint problems by 17% by fixing too early. Excellent point, excellent, excellent, excellent point. I saw that study. It was done on, I think, golden retrievers. But yeah, neutering a dog too early is very, very, very unhealthy on them. 
uh, keeping them intact is very unhealthy if you end up putting, you know, getting your dog pregnant and you have 10 dogs you have to kill. So it's a hard one. Thanks, whoever said to hit the X to, to find the like button. Okay, so if there's an X on your screen, that's where your like button is. So hit me, give me a couple more likes, please. Come on, let's get this up to 150 likes. 150 likes, let's do it. Come on, 30 minutes, I'll go for another five minutes for, for, for eight likes. 148, I need two more likes. Um, herding dogs chase drive, you think it's car, bike, or kids? Okay, 159, I'll keep going, I'll give you another five minutes. Um, 165. Herding dogs, they're natural instincts. So here's the difference, a herding dog and like a retrieving dog. A herding dog's goal is to find something that's moving and chase it, right? A, a, a retriever's job is to find something that's still and bring it back. So that's a really, really, really interesting, um, is Janet on here? Are you on here, honey? Are you, are you up there? Are, are you upstairs on the, on, on, on YouTube? I don't even know. I'm downstairs in the basement here in my man cave doing this. Um, so yeah, so that's a big difference. Herding dogs, like if a duck were to be on the ground dead, the, thanks honey, there's, there's my beautiful Janet up there. Um, the, there is, um, a herding dog will go out and find the duck that's there and will chase it, chase it, and chase it. A retriever won't touch that bird, but will find the one that's fallen down. So there you go. That's that's genetics. Genetics 101 for you guys. That you know that you got to know when you're getting a dog. So everybody say hi to Janet there. That's I'm glad she's on there. Hell of a man cave. It, it's nice, right? It's very comfortable. Um, um, a member of your website. Let me see. And I haven't seen a follow-up video to the heel command. Just the position. Okay, great. So I'm going to do it. I'll do a video on right now. This week, Janet and I are going to shoot a place command, and we are going to shoot a, um, a, a what is a place command? What's the other one we're going to shoot? In? Oh, the, uh, we'll do a heel command. Let's let's do a good focused heel video for the people, and let's do a. Um, a place command, place command and heal. Those will be coming up in my member section. So what I always do, just so you guys know, I'm gonna to start to wrap this up in a few minutes here, is I'm going to do, I will always do a long video. So usually the members videos are 10 to 30 minutes long. So imagine it, 10 to 30 minutes, then I take a portion of that and I put it out for free. So what it is, I'm trying to give you guys the information for free as much as I can, but I got rent to pay. I've got, you know, bills to pay too. So I have a small, fee on my membership section and that's where I want you guys to join and and if you can afford it go there and join because it keeps me able to do the free videos for everybody else you know if you can afford it great if you can't I'm here to help everybody that's really really good make a video on dogs sell to other countries please 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 because we don't work in line okay so I, I don't sell dogs but there's plenty of people who sell good dogs there's one here what does it say would it be possible for some agility training tips Janet Maybe Janet will give up some, maybe I get to, what about Janet doing some um, agility, little tiny tips, we'll, we'll shoot it, we'll put it in the member section. Um, from Georgia, Greece, oh, George from Greece, okay, I missed you, sorry. Make a video on dog sell, I'm not making videos on dog selling to other countries. Puppy training collar, martingale. Use a martingale collar. Now this is great, 180 people, 180 likes, I love it. Do you train? other people's dogs. I did, Jaden. I trained a lot of other people's dogs. I had a business doing that. And then this became so big. I was able to help so many more people by doing these videos that I had to do it. I just changed it up. So it was good. Hey, ch guys, check this out. You got to see this for a second. Look at it. How great is that, right? Um, all right. So let's see. Janet said she that would be really fun. I'm hoping she's talking about doing... Um, a little agility tip video. I'm going to let her do that. I think it'd be super, super great. She's, she's amazing. She's a really, really, not only is she beautiful because she's my fiance, but she's really, really good with dogs. And I think a couple little training tips from Janet might be a good thing. And hey, it would give me a break. Please, Janet, do a quick, we'll, we'll maybe we'll do some, uh, some, some, something. I, she's got a cool thing that she teaches. Um, so anyway, oh, a day, in the, a day in the life of me. No, you don't want to see a day in the life of me. It's, it's not a pretty picture. Look, I haven't even shaven. I've got to shave today. i got a date today. All right. Anyway, so let's wrap this up. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Janet, are we okay to uh, do this tomorrow? Is that cool? I, I check. This, you know, Janet's in charge here. I mean, um, I'm in charge of a lot of stuff, but I do. Uh, how many dogs do you own? We have that many dogs. Um, all right, so tomorrow, okay, so we'll be here tomorrow, probably around the same time. Check the front of robertcabral.com. I'll put a, a thing there. Do me a favor, right now, okay, I've got 118,935 people. If you are not a subscriber of, of this channel, subscribe right now. 
There's 181 people. I want all of you guys to hit the subscribe button. And what that does, it, um, it increases my numbers, which I'm trying to get up to a half a million people. I need your help with that. I can help you with your dogs. You need to help me with a subscription, okay? And we will do these shows regularly, I promise you. Especially during this coronavirus, I wanna get out, make you feel positive, make you feel good about everything. Remember something, your dog doesn't know what's gonna to happen tomorrow. The fact that you're now not knowing what's gonna to happen tomorrow, thanks PS Productions for subscribing. Um, hang on, what's this? Is a prong collar supposed to fit so that it never slides down the neck even if the dog starts shaking? Excellent question, Tudor. The dog, the collar will slip down. Anybody who tells you the collar must always stay high has never used a prong collar. You don't want it that tight. You want it very, very snug. You want it to stay up, but when the dog moves forward, what generally happens is the bottom of the neck is smaller on the dog, so it does slide down. So don't worry about that. Um, I wanna make sure you guys understand that you gotta stay positive, stay positive, stay positive through. This is a tough time. Um, you know, I hate the bullshit people who are gonna tell you, oh, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a motivational speaker. You know, I, I think it's all crap, right? You don't need no guru, no method. Listen to the Van Morrison song. Put on some great music today. Listen to a great Bob Dylan or Van Morrison song. I love both of them. Um, and, and just feel good, close your eyes. You know, have something cold to drink. Um, tell your fiance you you love them. Do you know, just just have a great day today. Do something positive. Take your dog for a walk. Give your dog a big hug. Stay positive. Love your dogs. Uh, I love you guys. I'm here for you. Okay, so I'm going to help you guys get through this. This is our Janet and my mission. We are going to help you. We're going to do this. Uh, we'll do the Q and A. Thanks, Corey, for joining my member section. Every single membership helps um, for me to keep again. Having the membership section helps me to do this to, for the free videos. I can't do one without the other. So I'm going to sign off. Guys, love you. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're back. We're gonna, I'm going to get to more of your questions. And uh, all, all the way from Downey, California, Anita. That's a long way away. <laughs> um, and yeah, I might need moderators, Matthew. That's a good idea. I need somebody to tell me how to do this on my computer because I can't figure it out. I can't figure out how to do a live stream. So thanks for your support. Thanks for your love. And I will see you tomorrow. Take care.